Hi guys, welcome to the flight today. I'm going to show you how to do a tutorial on a Cat 2 or Cat 3 landing, so a precision approach using the uh, radio uh, minimums along with uh, everything that you need to get this aircraft down on the centre line, hit the touchdown marks. So don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below to tell me how you thought the approach went. I'm not going to be touching anything on the controls apart from when we touch down we will do reverse thrust and maybe a tiny rudder input upon touchdown but until the wheels hit the ground we ain't going to touch nothing so you can see that how this exactly works. So to start the approach procedures shall we say the first couple step procedures when initiating the approach is to make sure that you have the right uh, minimums etc for the approach which I download the VATSIM app which gives me the VAT uh, charts of all of the aircraft so what we'll do is we'll slow the aircraft down just so we can pretty much start our procedure so we'll stay at 220 so the first thing you want is you want to look at the cat 2 for our minimums and we're going to use the radio at 135 which we have already got here so if you try the Luton approach 135 on the radio so we'll activate them as you can see the radio Barrow is used for the Cat 1 or any other approach Cat 2 and 3 is the radio so that would be the first thing that we've done is we would have set the radio up before we took off which I already did so now that's active secondly we want to go into our approach ref as long as you set the whole flight up we say we want flaps 40 at 143 sorry so we'll be going at 148 plus 5 for wind correction. Our radios is 10915, which are already set and active. You need to set both on both sides, nav 1 and nav 2. So 10915, 10915, which is set. And then thirdly, you need to look at the course, as that needs to be set also which is 255 so we'll go ahead and set the courses for the captains and the first officers there's 255 and there's 255 so that's all set last but not least we put in the airport's Q&H <coughs> which last time I did check was 997 so let's uh, have a look at that 990 is the QNH for Luton. Okay, so if you look down there, we'll put in 990. And if you look underneath the standard, you'll be able to see 990. And then go over to the first officer's side and also set up the Heading, what we can do is we can turn off the. Don't have your ILS's uh, set like mine. You can, you can do it 20 miles out, but they was already active from a previous uh, tutorial that I was doing. So, yep, set the second Q&H to 990. There we go. That's all set 990. So now we're going to make that right turn now to get ready to intercept for the ILS.
Okay, so by the time we get to our localizer, we need to be at one six eight, which is fine. That gives a nice, uh, a nice setup for the uh, runway. So, slow down to 200, and do flaps 5. Thousand ago. Set the QNH back. Okay. So at this point, you would have had your LNAV and VNAV on. So as we're coming down now. It's bit one six eight. Okay, flaps ten. Okay. Now we can go ahead and initiate both of our ILSs. So turn your nav frequencies on now. And what you can do is, as long as your glide slope diamond is active or shown visibly, we can now hit the approach and double up. So you would hit the approach and then you would arm the second CMD. And now the aircraft is ready for its approach. So we'll wait for the VOR to lock. Once the VOR locks, we'll go down to our approach speed, which is 148. As soon as the localizer comes, we can start dropping the gear. Once the diamond gets within one point, of the middle. Thousand to go. So, got the localizer diamond, which isn't ignited in pink, which means it hasn't been locked. We've got the glide slope that's come down. When we level off, as soon as the glide slope gets near to the middle, then it should activate. We've got a radio set for the precision approach. So now all that's left to do is sit back drop the gear and get our flaps down and we're ready so it's 148 VOR is locked 2500 drop the gear and on the speed brake and we can drop now flaps 30 Now flaps 40. So we're on the single channel now. Just waiting for the auto land to become active. And we are now fully set up and established on the localizer. Now we're just waiting for the glide slope to become active. So there's the glide slope. So now, all we've got to do is just wait for the ILS, the auto land, to become active, and you'll see that on the PFD. It will switch from single channel to, to basically the category landing that we're coming down in. Looks 
to turn our landing lights on now. And we get our taxi and thresholds ready. Passing through 1500. Should see the auto land at any moment now. And there we go. We have just been established for the auto land. As you see, land three is now set, and now we'll see how precise the uh, aircraft is. We'll help it down with the rudder. When we do touch down, we will use a little bit of rudder if we need to. But from that, should be all good to go. So, there we are, runway in sight. 1,000 feet stabilized, Mr. Perch altitude set. I'm not going to disengage the autopilot this time, I'm just going to let it do what it has to do. And the auto brake is set to number two as well. If you guys want me to do a tutorial over the minimums with the barrel and the radio, just leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll be sure to do that as it is partly how to get this down Hi, precise. So 500 feet, check. brakes and there we are guys down in Luton Airport on a category auto land so then we just stop can retract the speed brake and lock our flaps back up And there we are guys. So I hope that answers your questions on how to do a category uh, approach. And don't forget to like and subscribe if it helped you out. I'll see you all again very soon. Take care for now. And enjoy your next flight doing the perfect auto land. See you soon.